In this video, we're going to go ahead and finish the interior of our house by adding in some interior walls, add some doors, windows, and also some other components like beds, toilets, etc. So, first thing I want to do is I want to go into my first floor. To draw an interior wall, just like our exterior walls, we go in the architecture tab, we choose wall, and from the list, we choose anything that's suitable. In this case, I'm going to go with the generic 100mm wall. I'm going to come from my right over here. I'm going to cut straight across and join those two walls together. I'm also going to come along and draw a wall and split these two up. In this case here, I want these rooms to be the same size. So to help me with that, I'm going to go up to my Annotate tab and choose an Align Dimension. I can use this drop down menu to specify where I want my dimension to start from. In this case I'm going to go from wall faces. I'll go from the inside of this wall, inside of this wall. Now I need to select the inside of my middle wall. So if I come over here and mouse over the edge, press tab until the inside is showing, left click. I can drag these dimensions off my wall here. I'm just going to click them in place. And you'll see up here there's a little EQ. If I click on that, it'll make the dimensions equal on both sides of that wall. I can press escape to get out of my dimension annotation mode and continue placing my interior walls. You can see here I've gone ahead and added the rest of my interior walls in. I want you to add your own personal touch to your file, so go ahead and add walls to the rooms that you want to include in the house. Once you're happy with your interior of your house, uh, we're going to have a look now at adding some doors, windows and components. First of all I'm going to go ahead and add my door. So up in the architecture tab we choose door. You can see down here we've come with a number of pre-selected doors here and in this case I'm just going to leave that default one for now. Now you'll notice when I drag over the door only shows up when I'm on a wall because that's the behavior that's set by a door component. I can't place it out anywhere in the open, it has to be up against the door. Now I'm going to come up here and you'll see that I want to place it, it's defaulting now over to the left hand side. If I mouse over to the right hand side of that wall, it has flip sides. So I want my door to open inwards. I can also press spacebar to flip which way this door opens. So for example in this case here, I want the door to open that way, come along and click to place it. I can also change these dimensions here if I want to get a little bit more finer placement, so let's change that to 250. Then go ahead and add the rest of the doors in while you have the door selected for all of the rooms in your house. Next component we're going to add is a window. So up in the architecture ribbon we're going to choose window. Again we have a number of pre-selected windows but say if we wanted something different uh, there's a number of windows that comes with Autodesk that aren't already preloaded for us. To do that we want to come over to the load family option. You see here we have a whole list of different items we can add. Now because we're using a window component mode all we can choose is a window family item. If we try to add a door in this one, it's going to come up with an error because we need to use the door option to add that. So I'm going to click down here until I find one that I like. Okay. Let's go with this double hung 2L. I'm going to click open. And you see here I have a whole list of sizes now. And it's asking me to select one or more types on the right to add into my file. So I'm going to go ahead, I've got width and height, let's just choose a couple here, I held down shift to select all those, press OK. Over here in my properties, you can see here under my double hung family I have all my options that I preloaded. So to place my window again, it can only go into a wall. You can see there, once I've placed that, I've opened up my 3D view here, I'm going to click on that window again and I've got a couple of options here. So I can flip the horizontal my window which changes sliding window to the left. 
click it again, it'll change it back to the right. The other option is flip the instance facing. So you can see here on this particular setup, I've got my wall in the inside and the window ledge is on the outside. So if I click that one here, deselect that window, the window ledge is now on the inside. The last thing we're going to do is we're going to add some components. So if we click on component, you can see again we've got a number of preloaded components in here. What I'm looking for in this case is a toilet for my bathroom. You can see here I don't have a toilet to choose from. So again I'm going to come up here, choose a load family and look through my files until I find my toilets. So in this case my toilets, I'll find that in the plumbing folder. We go into architectural, fixtures, water closets and I have two different toilets to choose from there. Now you notice this particular one it's bound to a wall. If I choose that one there it needs to place it on a wall. Choose this one here, click open and now I can place my toilet. Now I can place my toilet wherever I want but in this case I want to put it in my bathroom. If I don't like the selected orientation of it I can hit space to rotate through all a few different options. So in this case in this case I'm just going to put it up against the wall and place it like so. Now while it's selected I could go ahead and place more toilets. So for example I wanted to place one in my ensuite. I'll place it there and hit escape to back out of that. We can now go back into my 3D view, zoom in and we can have a look at how those components have turned out. Okay so go ahead and add in the rest of components for your house now. Uh, if you find that you can't find the one that you want, I can come up here to the Insert tab and use Autodesk Seek to search through thousands of online components. So I just type something in there, for example, Bath, press Enter, and it'll bring up the website and show me a list of items I can choose from. If I do want to select something from that site, I do need to log in using my Autodesk ID. You can also use other websites like Revit City, which also needs us to log in. So I suggest you go ahead now and finish setting up the interior of your house on both the first floor and the ground floor, adding in your bedrooms, bathrooms and your kitchen.